Yo, what's good everyone? This is Slinky, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily qualify for the Soul Victory Cash Cup Finals. Now, that being said, I'm a shit player. I'm a boomer. Not the best, but your boy still got over 140 points qualified to the second round. So I'm going to be kind of going through what I was thinking in my head, going through the games, and kind of what my main strategies were to get to that second round if you're playing on hybrid ping like myself, or normally playing any east compared to any central oh, shit. or if you know also like me shit not the best mechanically either so i'll show you how you can still get to that second round and then give yourself a shot to win that cash so let's hop into my first game once i picked up the elam off spawn i did stay on that south side of the map I got zone there, so I farmed up materials, and then you know I would either find a bush or a building that was in zone where I could stay, and then you know as the next zone come in, I would you know, continue to make sure to stay on that south side of the zone since I knew there weren't going to be too many players around me there. Eventually, I did make my way to Redline Rig where I did make a one by two. And that is where I picked up the most free elim of my life. Why did my first shot blink on him though? You saw that blink? That was the worst player I've ever seen in my life. It's six nitro. So yeah, as you guys just saw, that player was complete shit. I mean, not sure why he was in my lobby. Damn, I mean maybe I should have been W keen a little more that game. Anyways, once I once I picked up the Elim, my goal was really to just secure like a top three or get the win. So from there I moved to the side of the zone where I kind of thought there wouldn't be too many players. I saw that we're in the half and half zone was moving to and knew that you know more players would not be on that side based off of that's where the zone just previously was. So from that I was able to get into the top five, rotate the zone, and this is where the dude that had all the medallions, W key for me, and you'll see a lot of panic builds, and like I said, you know, I'm not the best player, man. I could be I could be shit sometimes. I wasted a lot of builds. Probably could have got high ground maybe. Potentially could have won the game. I think I kinda of threw this one. I'll let you guys roast me in the comments, though. Crazy. I try to get the second, bro. That dude's a nuts. 17 kills. Games 3 and 4 did not go my way. Got pushed off spawn in game 3, and then in game 4 I landed at that same cabin near Rebel's Roost. Did get a kill, and then fortunately there was a dude right behind me who cleaned me up right after that. So then in game 5, I knew I had to switch things up. Instead of continuing to drop at that spot that was not working out for me, I then went to the south side of the map below Redline Rig, where those containers are located. This game, my main objective was to secure as many placement points as I could. I tried to stay around the edge of the zone, find either a bush or, like I said, a building to hide in, to where I could, you know, continue to get through the zones and guarantee I can at least make it to the end game. And as you guys just saw, I was able to secure a ninth place, running around like a dumbass after I thought I ran out of mats. And then looking back, I still had two more two more builds I could have done. Anyways. That got me up to 90 points going into game six. I knew that I needed one more good game if I wanted to be able to qualify. If I could get a top 10 or definitely a top five, I'd most likely be able to secure my qualification. I definitely wanted to get that done in game six and not have to hope on the last game being what got me over the threshold. Now I knew I had to switch up my strategies a little bit for this game. With myself being at 90 points, I knew the lobby was going to be a little more stacked with players in the end game, so instead of you know hanging around the outside edges of the zone, I tried to position myself more into the middle of the map. And then instead of rotating late because you know there's barely any players in your first couple of games, you know, I tried to rotate early, get ahead of zone, so I wasn't super congested where all the players would be when they had to rotate. Now in this next clip, you'll see me get the refresh that I needed to secure that qualification. I honestly thought I was going to be dead to rights this game. But thankfully, someone pushed me that clearly had everything I needed to get to the end game.
You just can't let anyone shoot at you, bro. Gotta shoot back or something. Nice, little damage. Bitch. Oh boy. Get 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 Matthew. Yeah, as you can tell, I was definitely fired up from that kill. Definitely what I needed. I honestly thought that game was going to be over with. I would have to go on to game 7 and hope I was able to qualify then. So from there, you know, I kept rotating in zone. I really wasn't trying to look for too many kills. I was honestly trying to secure those placement points because I knew as long as I get you know, top 5, I would for sure qualify. You're going to see me burn through a lot of builds here. <laughs> My buddy Raz too was you know, quote-unquote coaching me for this uh, victory cup uh, it was pretty funny he was like oh my gosh you're wasting so many builds so i want to make sure to include that audio in this video definitely continue to roast me in the comment section guys but hey i still have to get over 140 points qualified in the second round so now let's hop into the last minute of the game to see if i was able to qualify stay below this kid you're in right now you're in just there's a lot of mats there you you used like a thousand bro <laughs> well, you could have used like. I know. Oh, yeah, I stayed. I stayed dead though. I stayed dead side. It pulls back. Yeah, hundred percent. Pop the nitro and run. Just run through your shit. Nice. Just get in. Yeah. Good challenge. Nice. Build. 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 You're almost done. Good challenge. Hunter mass, chill, 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 you are. Oh, there's nothing here. Bro, you have no mats. I just f***ing claw, though. I know, you're chilling, bro. Strong. Now win this shit. Nice shit, get his mats. Siphon. Here. Oh, third place, let's f***ing go. Got a boy. Go ball. Go ball. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. This usually isn't type of content that I normally make. I want to switch things up a little bit, so please let me know what your thoughts on the video were in the comments down below. I also should have another montage being posted pretty soon here on my channel as well. And yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below. And good luck in your next solo victory cash cup.